I am the great monkey man. And that leaf is going insane. Oh well, let's just make like a tree and leaf. Hey everybody, it's me, SB, and welcome back to more Super Mario Sunshine. Um, in the last episode, we went to uh, Bianco Hills and did tons of crap. Took down three bosses in one episode. Anyway, so I just wanted to... Never mind. I guess I didn't do it correctly. But yeah, you can jump on top of that, like, statue and slide down it like it's a slide. And I just not realized, but looking at the statue, it looks like some sort of, like, great, like, god or something. Like, he's wearing, like, a shine sprite, like, a, on a necklace around his neck. On a necklace around his neck. No, because I thought, like... Because I, I wore my necklaces on my clothes. I wonder what famous Let's Player that sounds like. I should probably stop. You know, in the bathroom. Okay, I should probably stop fan or referencing Let's Players. You know, let's just jump back into the Bianco Hills. Same like that. And let's do Red Coins of the Windmill Village. And there's actually a really good specific pattern in that. For this level, um, that I like to use. Uh, it's the same thing that most speedrunners use as well. And I also know that a Let's Player, I will also name him, Chugga Conroy, you may know him. He also uses this pattern. And I shall now use it because I look after him in a Let's Play. He is my. He is my Let's play an item. If we were to put it in terms that kids would use. That is the most weirdest thing I think I've. Well, not really the weirdest thing I think I've ever said. Like, I, I don't know. I think that's the most weirdest, like, phrase I think I've ever said about a game. And these freaking enemies are annoying. I don't like it. You can use these windmills, you can spray water on them, it'll start to turn, but I personally just like to do that. Because it's fast enough. There you go. Ah, can see. There's a... Okay, there's the last right one. Easy shine sprite, right there. This level can take a bit of some time with because of those things, but whatever. I don't really know what these, those things are called. Um... I don't know. Anyway, let's just get our shine spread stuff. Wow. Those sweet colors still right there. Okay. Oh crap, I actually forgot. Um what kind of level that we should have done. Uh, I forgot a level that we had to do. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go back into here. And, um, I'm not gonna do episode 5. I'm gonna go back to level 3 and maybe I'm gonna... Why? Why are we going back to level 3? Well, because there is something cool that you can do here in level 3. And I do not have to worry about being skillful because about and um yeah cool <coughs> jeez it's like wow they have ever sneezed ever okay. all, all three of my videos I don't think I've ever sneezed because I've never had the reason to do sneeze hey <coughs> cool oh, jeez it's only been three episodes and we're sneezing and jeez holy crap I feel like it's gonna be like some like some sort of like Common thing, like every Let's Play, I'm gonna end up sneezing or something. Anyway, should we, should we come back here? You may be wondering, like, what the heck? Why are we coming back here? Well, as you may notice, there's this thing, and we also have our flood with it. We pound this in the ground. We have to collect eight red coins before time is up. So, we are basically reliving Mario 64. Yes. All of our red coin collecting goodness. We have one minute to do this, which is. Not one minute. Two minutes to do this, which I really think is just... No, no one minute. What am I talking about? Two minutes? Okay. Okay. 
but you get one minute to do this, which I really think is a bit too much time. However, there have been instances where I did not complete this within time. And those, I'm probably going to end up failing this one, which will be the first fail of the Let's Play. Which I do not want that to happen on such a... Oh, oh okay. Never mind. Five seconds on the clock, and I really hope it's okay. I was going to say, like, I really hope I don't fall. Oh, jeez. Actually, float across. There we go. Get a one-up. These levels, by the way, are cake with one-ups. Like, if you ever need one-ups, you can just come up here. There's actually usually only two in every in every single level. I don't know where the second one in this one is, but, you know. Save and continue. explain this already but every um every world in this game has at least eight levels I mean and um uh ten I ten blue coins I think no thirty thirty blue coins um I'm not gonna be collecting the blue coins yet but yeah every world has at least um eight missions and ten blue coins or no thirty blue coins why do I have to like keep saying ten and, um, I will be tackling the blue coins after I complete the world. But, um, yeah. Jeez. Stop failing. Stop failing! Gosh. Anyway, so here we have an introduction to a new enemy. Um, not these things. These things from Fire Seed, I suppose. But... We have an introduction to a new enemy. These are called points, I think. And these things, they will constantly chase you as long as you have your regular nozzle on. They will stop chasing you once you have your hover nozzle on. They will not get onto you once you have your hover nozzle on. If you already have it on, they will not chase you. But once you take it off, they will start chasing after you. Um, they will get onto your nozzle and you can squirt water. You won't lose any water by doing this. What we're going to want to do... Petey Prawn is sleeping over there. Someone should pop him in the face! Get off. Goodbye. Whatever. Anyway, so this level. You can play through this level two ways. One way is the way Nintendo intends you to do it, is with the points. What we're gonna do is Petey Prawn is gonna be flying around. He's gonna try to, well, uh, he's gonna stand still. That's He's gonna stop flying at some point. He's gonna squat. He's gonna stay still. And you're supposed to hit him with a point. Unfortunately, I can't do it there. Another way you can do it is you can squirt him with water, and he'll fall down. But the way I like to do it is also. Well, he's also got a new variety of moves, by the way. He can fly in the air and shoot um, paint meteors at you. He's also got his new tornado track trick. Um. He's gonna do that again. You're gonna want to basically do the same thing that you did last time. And just do that. So you're just gonna do that. It's a fairly simple boss. Oh, just got huge water boost. I think I picked up a water bottle. There's water bottles in here that you can get from killing enemies in certain fashions, and they'll fill up uh, your tank. There's two different ones that you can get. There's a half water bottle and there's a big water bottle. Heck, did he go? Where did he go? Crap, where did he go? Oh, jeez. Okay, I can't remember that. Oh, he's right here. Jeez. Okay. Right. The way I like to do it is do it is I like to get underneath him and squirt water from the air, and that'll knock him down too. 
Alright, so you just gotta do the same thing that you did last time. Hit him three times. You, you'll be dead. Um, get what the heck? Why did that do anything? Anyway, um, this boss can take, um, really long time depending on how good you are with the nozzle with the squirting water. Um, so if you weren't that good, you're gonna want to become good. What? If you're not good, you're, wa you're gonna want to become. That looks like a heart there for like a shadow. Looks like a heart there for a second. Pretty cool. That was the dumbest thing I think I've ever said. If you're not good, you're gonna want to become good. Okay. Where are you gonna stop, buddy? Oh, there we go. Stop. All right. I'm gonna pick up that box. Right. These boxes though have certain types of nozzles in them. You know, fill up their water completely. I don't have the hover nozzle in it, which. Really, no point in picking up actually. Get hydrated. Like that last one. I'm not. What the heck? No, get off. Get off before, quickly before you digest the water. There you go. He can actually digest the water and um. Okay, so we killed nature again. This is actually the first time Peter Prano was ever introduced to the um, to the Mario series, and uh, ever since then he's been a staple to the series. Uh, I, I, I am a dirty boy. Wow, we've been getting a lot done in these past two episodes. I could probably do one more mission, but the next one is kind of long, so I don't think I want to do it. So, within like the last minute or so, I'll be doing this stuff. Is I will hit my head against Peach, and then she will act like a stone wall. Um, I'm gonna go around and uh. I guess part four. And uh, I guess maybe I could explain some things about my channel. Um, by the way, these birds here you just gotta switch them three times and um, they'll disintegrate to a coin depending on or, and they'll disintegrate depending on what color they are, really depending on what they give you. Um but, uh, anyway, as I was saying, there's gonna be, um, possibly some new content on my channel. Um, and, wow, that freaking wobble flew far. But anyway, yeah, there's gonna be some new content on my channel. Um, 